My name is Dr. Sandy Skonicki. I'm a dermatologist from Toronto, Canada, and my interest is contact dermatitis and, in particular, sensitive skin. The manifestations of skin allergy are quite severe. Allergy is um, all or nothing. Like every time you use something, you get a rash. It's very itchy, it's scaly, it's red. Um, things that are just mild or come and go or days you have clear skin, that's not allergy. The manifestations of skin allergy in uh, both adults and children are very similar. And we're talking about dermatitis here, not uh, other types of allergy. But uh, skin allergy in children and babies is not as common. But we do see it, and it has increased in incidence worldwide because of the use of multiple skincare products in children. With respect to skin allergy and personal care products, the face is the most common, and in particular the eyelids. The eyelid skin is very thin, it's very reactive, and with respect to um, an allergic reaction, you'll often see it there first. So the most common skin allergens in, in uh, personal care products are really four categories. Fragrances, natural extracts, uh, preservatives, which are ingredients used to help decrease um, bacterial mold growth in a cream or, or food, and also nickel or metal from piercing. And I think one of the things you have to take a step back is, is allergy to skin care ingredients is actually fairly low. So you don't have to worry necessarily about all the different ingredients. Um, many products need an emulsifier of some kind. It's just a fact of skincare. If you have a reaction, you know, you need to see a dermatologist to discuss the ingredients and maybe potentially have patch testing or allergy testing. If you look at the um, published papers on what children become allergic to in skincare, it's not that dissimilar to adults. Fragrances again, preservatives, uh, detergents, um, there, we see that all in children. Also nickel or metal from piercing. Um, those are the most common allergens in children. The most common uh, things that can cause a baby to have a rash uh, are essentially, um, again, personal skincare products. Also, depending on where you live, uh, if it's cold or low, low humidity, you, they can have dry skin. If you live in a tropical country, they can have body pimples or what we call um, heat rash, which is not a medical term, it's called miliaria. So those are the common things that you see in babies with respect to rashes.